Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at auto format, which is really important and very, very useful. So hopefully by now you've created a program yourself with three lines in it or more, however many you like, and we'll, we'll use that to talk about formatting. Uh, so we've seen that um, if you have curly brackets like this, an opening and closing curly bracket, that's known as a code block. So we have a code block here, and there's another code block here. Now, when we put one code block inside another, so this code block is inside this code block, and here we have statements within a code block. And when you put um, when you put code inside a code block, or you put yeah one code block inside another, it's really important to indent it. So you see that um, all the code within these curly brackets is indented by one tab and all the code within these curly brackets is indented by another tab. And that's that. although that's cosmetic, so the program works without it, let's try this, it's nevertheless extremely important to get this right um, because if you don't have correct formatting in your code, it will be very, very difficult to read. It will look a mess. So always strive to um, to format your code nicely and pay particular attention to indentation. Make sure that you indent one block of code within another like this. Um, you might have seen a American TV series called Silicon Valley and in that the protagonist is a computer programmer and at one point he has a girlfriend who's also a computer programmer and they they have an argument and they end up sort of splitting up because um, they can't agree about whether it's better to use spaces or tabs to do indentation. So to in indent some code within a code block, let's take this as an example, you could use four spaces Typically, it will be four, one, two, three, four. And you can also use a tab like this. I just press the tab key there. There are pros and cons to both of these. So it can get annoying to have to keep typing spaces and even hearing people typing spaces. You know, that can, that can get quite annoying by itself, but spaces tend to have a consistent appearance uh, across different editors. This is probably less important now than it used to be in the past, but I, I think it's still true that spaces give you um, better consistency when you write code in one editor and load it into another. On the other hand, they're annoying to type, and that's why I greatly prefer tabs, because just one tab can indent your code. So this will be indented two tabs, because it's within two code blocks. It's within that and within that. Um, so I, I recommend using tabs to indent your code, but if you're working with a team of programmers and they were all using spaces, you should use spaces instead because the worst thing you can do is mix tabs and spaces. Um, that tends to mean that when you load code written in one ed editor into another editor, um, it will it will lose its formatting and it will get out of line. So pick one of these for four spaces or a tab to do the indent indentation and stick to it. Many editors these days will allow you to change spaces into tabs if you want. So I'm sure you can conflict, configure that in Eclipse. You can make it change a tab into a space and also into four spaces, sorry. And also Eclipse helps you. So if you type a line, so if I'm at the end of this line here, and I hit return, it puts the cursor in the right place so that we don't have to worry too much about indenting. So that's very helpful. Now, um, here's uh, the most important sort of takeaway message for this video. Uh, you can automatically format your code. So let's put maybe a bracket in the wrong place here and put excessive spaces in and maybe indent this too much if I write, if I select app.java, right click it and go to source and where are we? Source 
and format. It automatically formats my code for me. It will take out um, duplicated blank lines and it will line up brackets and stuff like that. And that's incredibly helpful. Um, not only because it makes the code a lot easier to read, but also because if you made a mistake there, so if you've maybe missed off a bracket and you try to format it, then it will um, it won't format, or the formatting will go a bit strange, and that's that's really helpful for spotting where you've gone wrong. Let's put that bracket in again. Also, you can see an error down there. There's, there was a, there's a red error marker that appears if you've done something wrong. This says insert um, bracket to complete class body in this particular case. Let's put that back in. Now. Uh, you can also format using a keyboard shortcut. Uh, I strongly recommend that you memorize this shortcut and you use it constantly. Some people think that beginners are better off um, using a text editor that doesn't have auto formatting. And the reasoning is that um, that forces people to really learn to do the formatting themselves. But in my experience, if beginners use auto format a lot, they gradually become used to the formatting. I think that's the quickest way to learn it. So I'm going to be um, suggesting that you uh, auto format your code constantly, do it all the time. And the way that we do it, as we've seen, we could right click and go to source format, but it's quicker to use a, a keyboard shortcut. And on the Mac, that's command shift F. And on the Windows, on Windows, it's control shift F. So um, here I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to, with one hand, my left hand, I'm going to hold down Command and Shift. And with my right hand, I'm going to just press F. And that's formatted my code for me. Let's try that again. So Control Shift F or Command Shift F on the Mac. Great. So um, it's important to do that all the time. Do it constantly. Try to write code in the first place that's formatted nicely, but um, also use auto format constantly to check that your formatting is okay. And eventually this will become second nature to you because you'll be doing it all the time. And that really, really helps to make code that's easy to read. And it really, really helps to um, keep basic errors out of your code. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.